Adam. And in conclusion, you told us yesterday what your convictions were regarding the development of Germany for the future. Perhaps you can reiterate on some of these points for you were interrupted through the recess yesterday. And since your health was in such a poor state yesterday that at the close of the day you could scarcely remember what you had told the court during the day. What conviction did you have about the economic and political <coughs> prospects for Germany in the future at the time when you entered the party? Perhaps you can just briefly sketch what you said yesterday. Full authority and full responsibility. That is only a strong state and one with a unified political will could save Germany from the crisis which Germany was going through then, which this crisis which was a result of the First World War. At that time, did you perhaps have the thought whether the leadership principle, the Führer Prinzip, which developed increasingly with time, whether this leadership principle could coincide with your own economic ideas, or let us put it negatively, At that time, could you foresee detriments resulting from this leadership principle? Will you clarify your position on this point? Could you a government principle? One can never say a priori whether it is good or bad depends on the given circumstances and above all on those circumstances and uh, on those people who are doing the ruling. A democratic, a de democratic and parliamentary principle was not successful in Germany. Germany had no parliamentary democratic tradition such as may be found in other countries. Conditions were such that when the government made decisions, the very few voices of the economic party actually did the deciding, and these voices were in the main thought. Therefore, 